So once we've got the basics, we can start to put a little bit more pressure into the stroke. And this comes back to the three key things that move us along. The board moves past the paddle. So the most important thing is placing the blade in the water wherever you reach. The entry or the start of the stroke is called the catch. And we need to make sure we bury the blade here. The next part is this vertical paddle. The more the top hand is over the bottom hand, the straighter the board will go. And the last is making sure that the blade comes out at the feet. Anything past the feet is causing too much drag and the blade's acting like a spade rather than drawing you through the water. So the three key things are placing the blade in at the catch, stacked hands and out at the feet. Most of the entry and the exit are controlled by the top hand moving across and then dropping down at the start and the finish of the stroke. If you want to put a little bit more pressure into the stroke, we can start to sink our weight onto the blade. But we need to have a stacked paddle for this to work well. As we improve the paddle stroke, we might start to vary it depending on conditions. The main one will be wind. So while paddling along, our arms are at that same distance that we set ourselves up when we first stood up. As soon as you start paddling into wind though, if you want a bit more power and a bit more torque, try dropping the bottom hand a little bit lower. The lower the bottom hand, the lower you get, also the more power you're putting through per stroke. It's important, whether you're paddling with the bottom hand low or at a normal height, that you try and keep that bottom hand loose. This will help you maintain a good reach on your stroke, but also make sure you stay relaxed and don't cramp up in the forearms. <laughs>